integrating RAM, hard drive, and an SSD. This ASUS unit, K570U, you will be needing Phillips head screwdriver and some pry tools. Let's get started. Pretty much just undo all the screws in the back. They are different sizes, so make sure to keep track of that. All the screws are out. All you can do is if you take the pride tool, pop up a corner, and get that crack started. The palm rest might come up on this one. So now that the palm rest is loose, you gotta see all these little ribbon cables that hold the keyboard on. Undo these. Clasps. Clasps. Some tape. Oh. Undo the battery. So, hard drive upgrade is simple. Just this bracket here. Four screws. Undo the hard drive bracket. Hard drive yeah, goes in there. there. Take the battery out. To get to the RAM and SSD, we're going to flip the motherboard. All the screws with the arrows by it. Undo them. Pull the Wi-Fi card out. We're going to take off this hinge as well. As well as undo the LVDS cable. Hold the hinge, close the lid, open it back up, it just swings right up. We gotta take the fan out. Looks like we gotta take this other hinge out too. <laughs> so now that that's loose, you can just pull the screen off, take the Wi Fi card out, undo the black cable. This board comes out, along with the fan. Undo that, pull that out. And there you have it. RAM SSD. Undo the screw here. Take it out. Put in the new SSD. Got a 33 degree angle. Push it down, screw it back in. Undo the RAM, put new RAM in. This is probably like a 27 degree angle right here. And that's it, flip it back over, make sure all the cables are out of the way. Put in the input side first, set it into place. Now do everything in reverse. Fan, fan down. Board down and we'll put the fan screws back in. Put what screws you pulled out of near the stuff that you pulled out. What do you say, Bob? screw down 
Let's get the palm rest back in. Clamp it all down. These ribbons are tricky. Is this a good angle for you? Um, I guess I can manage. Awesome. Now we just gotta put the tape back on these guys and then set it in place. Now that's all back together. Just put the screws back in. Make sure you put the right size screws in the right holes. That's it. We're done.